It's Jeremy from WebsiteBuilderExpert.com and continuing on the series of Weebly tutorials and showing you how um, to use Weebly tools to build your website. So in this particular tutorial we're going to go over the multimedia elements and you can click into the multimedia elements here and you can see um, these are the, the slideshows, the galleries and, and um, multimedia tools such as uh, YouTube videos and Google Maps that you can use. Uh, to build out your website. Now these are probably used maybe 5 to 10 percent of most websites but nevertheless they are an important part of um, the tools to give your website a more interactive feel. So as I mentioned and demonstrated before under the basic elements here the way to use these elements is simple as drag and drop and I'm going to show you quickly how some of these uh, elements actually works. So first thing I want to do is pull down a multi-column element so I can uh, insert these elements separately on each one of these columns. Uh, the first one I'm going to pull down is a slideshow. And once you pull that down you can have a few configurations. You can show them like so or these ones here you show the thumbnails of the pictures at the bottom uh, or on the top or on the side etc. Just pick your style and don't worry you're not locked in because you can reconfigure it to a different style later. For this demonstration, we're going to pick thumbnails on bottom. Continue. Next thing you would do is just upload the series of pictures you have into Weebly. And you can either click to upload fit pictures from your computer or you can drag the pictures directly into this box here. So we have a number of different images uh, prepared here already. So I'm just going to select them and drag them into Weebly. As simple as that. As you can see it's rendering, it's uploading the pictures right now and depending on how many pictures you have it may take uh, a few more seconds or up to a minute or so but um, the picture size also matters as well. So for each one of these pictures you can actually give them individual caption if you wish. So it can be um, decoration for this specific example and the caption will actually appear below the, the, the image when it's in full size. If you want to delete certain images just click on the little trash bin here and it's done. At the same time you can actually hyperlink a lot of these um, images to uh, whatever destination hyperlink you want them to be. It can be um, your other website or to another source. Uh, for example this furniture here you can hyperlink into a furniture store if you want. Um, after you're done click save and if you want to add more pictures just click on add photos if you're done just save and um, this is the style uh, that we just selected now if you want to change the style that I just mentioned you can always click on the navigation style here and change it to for example none in which they can just scroll through the images or just any other configurations you want I tend to like to have the thumbnail so people can see what's coming up the transition style could be fade, slide, mosaic, slice, or fold. Um, for example, you can change the slide and you can, it will just start sliding as such. You can hit the pause button so it will pause. Uh, you can have the, um, the, the slideshow autoplay or you know someone need to click into it to start playing. So I tend to like it have autoplay so it draws people's attention there. So that's how easy it is to get a slideshow up there. In the next tutorial, we're going to go over how to use the photo gallery element, which is this one right here, as well as other multimedia Weebly elements such as YouTube, uh, video, and Google Maps, etc.